If you asked me who the top 10 dippers were back in 2021, I probably would have included Matthew, obviously, at number 1, Fashuk at number 2 because of his 180, and then the list becomes very scattered, but I'd probably include, without a specific order, Baki, Chersonov, Picon, Tonio, Shurikov, and Helmin. But within just the past several months, the standards have been raised, and a lot of things have changed, and a lot of new dippers have entered the scene. In fact, I have zero doubts that at least one of these individuals will be able to dip 180 kilos in competition soon, overtaking Vitaly Vashuk's number two spot. And if that occurs, that athlete would be the second person ever to dip 180 kilos in competition. Now, who could possibly achieve such a feat, you ask? I think all the evidence points to Tonio Zeidler from Germany as being the second guy ever. But I have no doubt that someone like Armtum, if he competes again, or Urbanik in his competition debut, both have an equal chance at achieving it too if they're committed to that goal. I think with Tonio though, the mindset seems different. The guy seems a lot more driven, and it even shows when you look at his feats, specifically the 150 kilos for 3 reps. In case you don't follow Tonio, which you should, he's posted this specific feat 3 different times, with the speed from each feat being faster than the previous. And at one point he even claimed that the RPE was so easy that he could do 4 more reps at that weight, which is something that I haven't even seen Zlat showcase. And let's talk about the other guys who are making huge headway in their dip strength. Theo, a SWAT team athlete and the strongest French dipper, surpassing Baki, recently achieved a 130 kilo dip for 8 reps. Maybe 170 is possible this year for him. And Valerio Naldi from Italy out of nowhere dips 170 with no arm depth but huge range of motion in the plates. Perhaps he could dip 180 this year. And then there's this guy who came out of nowhere but his name is Bench Crowley and he recently dipped 136 kilos at 60 kilo body weight which is 2.27 times the body weight. And unless I'm missing someone, that is the second strongest pound-for-pound -pound weighted dip right below Max Chersonov's 152 kilo dip at 65 kilo body weight, which is 2.34 times the body weight. Right now, if you were to ask me who the top 10 dippers are in 2023 based on either 1RMs or estimated 1RMs, and that list can only include lifters who have showcased a weighted dip feat within the past year, my list would look something like this, where now we have guys like Urbanic, Theo, and Valerio all dipping 160 and above like butter. And it's just remarkable how fast the standards get raised when just two years ago, the impressiveness of a 160 kilo dip is now equal to the impressiveness of a 170 kilo dip today. The standards are certainly increasing as this small sport continues to grow, and I have no doubt that the numbers that we think are impressive now are not going to be international level numbers in the near future. It'll be interesting to see how these athletes progress and push the limits of what's truly possible in the years to come. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.